Oh, 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 what's up guys? How's it going, Mercury 408? I know I started this video the other day, but I didn't know where it was going. Now I know, I'm going to pick up a nice Nissan Altima. Where am I? I'm in the little town of Medina, or Medina, whatever you want to call it. Beauty day, 22 degrees, got my fresh hat in. I was debating on making these, if anyone wants one. Leave a comment, maybe I'll start producing them. I just customized for the this for me but yeah uh, i think the remote control for the cars for the car jumping's done so i tried getting the other two cars going they were both dead so i said screw it scrap them let's get the cash and find a freshie so we aren't going to do anything with this car well a little burnout when we get home but it's going straight into the jump so let's do it <laughs> We got about 10% braking. Hopefully we can get up here and not jump up onto the truck. Oh yeah, beauty. The big old city of Woodstock. I just smashed the curb over there by accident. <laughs> so I better get out and check the straps. We're at the, the old tollgate school, 1954. Anyways, look at this old freaking beast. She. I have a good feeling about this one. The only issue is it doesn't have brakes. I mean, it does have brakes. It just leaks brake fluid. So I might have to keep a bottle with me or I'll just fill it full of water, see what happens. But uh, yeah, he said he's never had any issues with it. He's just, you know, had to change usual, usual oil change and brakes. So drove it for many years. He was a trucker. So he just basically drove it to work, parked it for a week while he was gone and then drove it home after. So lots of boosting going on, but I have a good feeling about this one. This is gonna be the car that we test the remote control on. I really wanted to do it with the other ones, but they died and I don't have time to try and figure out that issue. So I just scrapped them, picked this one up and uh, yeah, yeah. So I think I'm just gonna get home, drop it off and finish this video tomorrow. And uh, should we burn these tires off? I mean, they're amazing tires, but I have two more sets. So, you know, we should keep them going, right? The only issue with this truck, this thing loves the Unipeel. And this is a 2.7 EcoBoost. Still a great truck, not as much power as the 3.5. That, that 3.5, only burnouts, just love burnouts. This one, you gotta work for the burnouts, so. But the trailer's on, maybe I can just hold the trailer brakes. But these General tires, absolutely love them. Super quiet, great in the winter. Like they feel like snow tires in the winter. The old grab ray tees. They're not super clean right now, as you can see, but uh, I have been doing a few peelers with them. I don't know if you can see the rubber in there, rubber and dirt, but anyways, let's get this unit home and uh, go for a little rip. She's got snow tires, so it's it's ready for winter. Get all that grip. Mmm, damn. All right, rock and roll. This weather sure changed quick. Holy! She was a sunny, beautiful day. I was excited to do some stuff, but I guess that's not happening now. As you can see, it's raining. Um, I guess I'll just unload this, whip a few uh, donuts, and then we'll finish this video tomorrow. Oh well, it's probably a good thing. I probably would have ended up destroying this thing, you know, before we even get anything done with it. Someone want to come cut the track? She needs a she needs a cut. Cut in color, folks. Holy, got the NOCO on. The mosquitoes are just horned up right now. They're attacking me. Let's get this thing. Hide from them with an open window. Ooh, a little push to start. Yeah. That's a good sound. That's how you know it's good. What do we got? 245. That's kilometers, folks, not uh, not miles. We got zero gas, perfect, that's all we need. Range, nothing. 
what would Brad McNine say? Ah, uh, no CDs. Sorry, Brad. All right. Oh yeah, I guess I gotta take the no go off. Uh, okay, I'll grab that. I'm gonna whip some donuts. I'm gonna show you guys the new plan for the jump. Then I'm gonna get out of here for the day. Let's shut this window. Come on, all the way. Nothing living in the back. That's good. I hope. What's in the trunk? Dark hole. Sweet. Oh, trailer burnout to start. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh. Actually, let's whip some donuts. Take care of the grass. That's how we knock all the grass down. <laughs> I remember when I did this with Chris's car and just blew the axles right out of it instantly. I wanted to jump it, but you know, some cars, they don't even make it to the jump. <laughs> all right. So, where's our uh, windshield wiper? Is up? perfect. So the new plan is the car jumps way down there, as you guys know. So we're gonna have a remote control. Basically, it'll just steer and hit the gas. And we're gonna start the cars from the entrance of the track here. Because there's a driveway kind of up the middle. So, yeah, I know you can't really see right now, but like way down there is the car jump, way past that hill, that's a freestyle jump. And yeah, they basically come down that hill and go boom. But now we're gonna have about four or five times the distance. So they'll be starting from here. And yeah, imagine them hitting it, hitting the car jump at this speed. Like, holy, oh, this is gonna be bumpy. Oh, not too bad. So yeah, there's where the car jump is now. Sorry for the rain. So yeah, there's the car jump now. They come down that hill. This window doesn't work. They come down that hill, and boom, hit the jump and fly over that. So the first test, we're gonna come flying up the driveway. Sorry, it's raining from here. We're gonna come flying up the driveway and hit this jump, the old double, the old double jump there. That's gonna be our test, obviously when it's dry. And then if all goes well, I'm gonna build a jump about maybe 100 feet back. So the cars will launch and they'll land around this area. I wanna keep the cars contained around this area. So that's the plan. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any suggestions on how we can build a, a better remote, let me know. Um, basically he's using window motors and it'll, yeah, it'll push the gas and it'll steer. I don't need brakes. I don't need it to shift. I just need it to steer and gas. And then yeah, wide open. I think they'll be doing anywhere from 100 to 140, depending on if they're two wheel drive or four wheel drive. Cause I think going down this hill, they get up to about, you know, 60 kilometers an hour, maybe 80 if we're lucky. But yeah, I think we can get double the speed and these cars are gonna freaking fly. I'm so freaking excited. And you know, it's an, it's another change for the YouTube channel. We've, we built the car jump. We moved the car jump back. It's time for another change. We got a baby coming this week. Let's go, let's do this. All right, we'll continue this video tomorrow. <laughs> That's what I got for doing a burnout. Plaster in the old tailgate. Ah, well, just a Ford. Carry on. Might be time to sell this thing. <laughs> they have electric ones coming, so I threw her up on Kijiji. Beauty day out. Skip the sled in a while, actually. Either I don't think I skipped it once this summer. Not since that spring uh, spring ride with Nick and Justin. <laughs> oh, let's keep this video going. I'm keeping it random, so I think that might get, that guy might buy the shredder. He's gonna think about it, but he really enjoyed ripping it around. That's for sure. Anyways, I'm at my favorite store this morning and we're having a baby on Friday. Ooh, oh my God, that's wild. Nine months flies by and I'm so excited. And everyone's like, 
get used to not sleeping. I'm like, eh, whatever. I'll be full of love. I won't need sleep. Anyways, let's swing in the old Princess Auto here and see what they got. All right, what do we need today? Some new mitts for the winter? I think so. Oh, these look like our crabbing gloves. Yep. Obviously my favorite aisle. I think we're gonna go with some retractable these this time. I was using these for my dirt bike. They worked really good. Look at this, one gallon water tank. If that was a Yeti, that would be a thousand dollars. Should have picked this up. <laughs> and I think we'll get a solar powered hat because why not? 688. This stuff is a must have. If you ever need to get any bug tar off the front of your vehicle or just cleaning your machine, burnt rubber, this stuff will take it off no problem. Just don't let it sit on too long. All right, I think that's enough for now. Let's uh, get out of here. Successful mission, and they give you a free coffee. Let's head out to the farm now. Oop. And burn the tires and light the fire. There we go. Uh, all right, we got tie down here. We're gonna have some fun. I had no plan for this video. I don't know where this video was going, but I think it's time that we figured it out. So, yeah. should we jump the uh, Cordale truck yeah, today? Yeah. <laughs> Boss will care. <laughs> um, I've had these tires on here for a while. I do have uh, two new sets up top at the barn. So, you know what? I think it's time to burn these, but this truck isn't the best of burnouts. The old 3.5 was fantastic. This is the 270 EcoBoost. And she's picky. Yeah, she, yeah, the other one, you just hit the gas and freaking spun them. This one has her days. So let's uh, do a little roasting. There is rubber in here. I have been practicing my best. And uh, yeah, so we'll do that. And then we're going to rip this real quick and basically end the video. And then uh, we're going to have a baby. Not me and Ty. Laura and I are going to have a baby. I don't think you're not pregnant. No, no, I'm good. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Did those pants used to be like this color? No. They came out. Oh, color. that came color. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, are those just faded as crap? Those fall apart though. Uh, nice. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Will the beast start? How was that burnout? Already. Oh, the burnout was good. That was actually so impressive. <laughs> Smoke's still Smoke still in the valley. It didn't really want to go the first time, so. But we got her going. We uh, just had to put some tire shine on the tires that lubed her up and got her ready. As you can see, it started raining the other day when I was ripping, so. Had a bit of fun of mud. You already did rip it. Yeah, a little bit. Like this, right? I don't know if it's going to start. Go try and start her, and then. Uh, we might have to use the old NOCO to boost it. Beauty evening. No, nothing. nothing? All right, let's pop that hood. And fire away, wide open. Let's see her go. That's not wide open. Yeah. Oh, raw ponies right there. All right, take this thing off. So right, I don't think there's any gas in this thing either. All right, show us your best uh, reverse donuts over here. Knock down some grass. Don't hit the trucks. <laughs> my truck first. Yeah, hit your truck first. Oh, oh it's beeping. The Nissan Altima. Quite the little beast she is. I freaking love reverse donuts. I just love donuts in general. Yeah, yeah. 
How's she run? She's got that nice tick to her. Pretty good, eh? Here, I'll give this to you. I don't need this. See how fast she can Nope, she's stuck. All right, next challenge. But yeah, throw the seatbelt on. All right, we're good. There we go. So next challenge. So basically, we're going to... The remote control cars, they're going to jump way down there. And we need to see how fast we're going to get going. Yeah. So you're going to be your little test dummy. Don't hit any jumps. <laughs> Just keep her wide open up the driveway right from the gate. Actually, I'm going to grab you the GoPro. We want to see some nice tire action. Perfect. <laughs> it's just uh, seeing where the smoothest area is up there. Oh, he's really going left. So yeah, basically with the remote for the first jump for that car, we're going to hit that jump, the old double there. And if all goes well, we're going to build the jump around here somewhere. I don't know, maybe beside the freestyle ramp. And then that way we just straight shot. We'll move the driveway over a little bit. And yeah, it's going to be pretty wild. But we need to see top speed of how fast you can get going. That's a big, that's a big bump. I'm not allowing the airbag to go off. Oh no, you'll be fine. You'll skip right over it. You'll be going so fast. <laughs> Good luck. Oh man, I bet it'll be doing 120, 130, no problem. But yeah, usually, so the cars start up that hill, come down, and they hit that jump. So it's not too far, I don't know, two, three hundred feet. But this is like three times the amount, three, four times. So it's gonna be way bigger. I'm probably gonna get completely dusted when he flies by me here. Let's see how fast we can get this thing up to. All right. Holy, this thing ripped. Oh, he's really starting early. Jesus. <laughs> okay, maybe he did hit the big bump. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know how high we got up there. I know we got past 100. <laughs> <laughs> -wee. A little bumpy. Just a little bit. Not a bad vehicle. Oh, sorry, Ty. I knew there was a bump there. I didn't think it was that bad. I think if you stay more to the right, you're good. But I think, yeah, he went more left and it turns into a jump rather than a bump. Oh, well. I'm sure he's got a seatbelt on. As long as the car's not broken, we don't want that. This thing's got to run still. <laughs> uh. That'll knock some of the rust off, but that's for sure. Jeez, the mosquitoes are out. Now oh, he's laughing. He's good. <laughs> Holy! <laughs> I was not ready for that. No. Man, you hit that. I think if you stay right, you're good. But you kind of went left and it's like more of a hump there. That's what I was worried about the airbag. It looked like you freaking endo. Da, 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 da. What was our top speed? I didn't even know. I had the GoPro down. I don't think it got too much. Oh, no. But man, that was going pretty good. Yeah, you definitely slowed down before you got to me. But you were freaking flying. Oh, my God. That was hilarious. Know, coming out of the fence there, I was like, okay, this thing's got some good pull on it. And then as soon as I started getting up this way, I'm like, holy shit. And you started, like, right from the driveway back there, like, <laughs> off the property. <laughs> and it was a little bit slippery coming in. You are on the outside here. So yeah. I, like, I let off a little bit. Uh, I know. We need to level out this driveway a little better. Oh. She's got some humps from over the years. All right, should we uh, give these little snow tires a quick roast, then we'll get out of here? Sure, let's do it. End of the day, it's time to go home, go for a nap. <laughs> All right, let's find uh, something. The things we do for a piece of wood, eh? <laughs> oh, man. I don't know if it's because I just had no brain bucket on, but I was more afraid in that thing than in my race car. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. What a beauty night. I don't think this thing has brakes, so we'll try it here, and then we might have to go against that tire or something. I don't know. Give her a whirl. See what happens. Good luck. Alright, you're good. 
Actually, if we're gonna do a reverse, go a little more forward. Crunch. Yep, that's good. Does this thing still have any brakes? We shall see. <laughs> There's all your brake fluid. Hopefully that's not oil. It kind of looks like oil though. Try it forward. Nah, all right, let's go up against something here. Well, that's not a good sign. That's probably from the big bump. No, back in, back in. Guess we won't drive this after this. We'll just freaking have to bring some oil down, fill her up right away, and then jump it. Send her to the moon. Ugh. Are you on the brake? Yeah. Oh, take your foot off the brake. God. Oh. What's going on? Uh, it's, uh, that's wide open. Were you pumping it? No, it's wide open. Alright, try once more. Keep it cranked to the left. <laughs> got peppered. All right, bring her forward before this thing pops. Let's get this thing parked. Oh man, hilarious. All right, go park her. Go park. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I guess that wood's fine there. Let's get this thing. Oh, it smells like burning in here. Let's get this thing parked before it freaking blows. Yeah, blows or lights on fire. Yeah, he peppered me twice there. <laughs> oh, all good. For the video. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh well, it didn't land on the camera. Just back in there again. Yeah. So note to self, reminder, bring oil when we're gonna jump this thing. Because I think she's empty. I hope I didn't kill her before the jump. Yeah, oh, these things will run on freaking Gatorade if they need to. <laughs> Seems like the crappier the car, the better they actually are. <laughs> they run on anything. She's probably nice and hot too, that probably doesn't help. Oh, yeah, we're not getting hot. All right, let's uh, climb out your side. <laughs> I was going to say, am I locked in here too? <laughs> oh, you got this thing seat belted in. There you go. Safety first. Oh, all right. No problem. <laughs> oh, keys. keys. Oh. Hilarious. Well, I'm glad that was successful. She wasn't a huge fan of staying on the boards. You know, it was all over the place. Is there mud all over me? I feel like there is. Anyways, just wanted to do a quick little video update. Hopefully we'll get this thing jumped 
within a week or two we are having a baby friday so we'll see how the schedule goes but thank you guys again thank you ty check out the links below let us know uh what you want to see next we'll see you later oh boy